Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. Welcome back to another live stream. We're playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 tonight. It's been a little bit since we played. I think it's probably been, uh, it's gotta be a couple weeks now, I think, maybe. Hi, Langor. Welcome to the stream. Um, so, I downloaded another mod because I wanted to try and try out some more of these mod cars that have been coming up in the Steam Workshop. And uh, this one came up, the uh, 1929 Lincoln Model L. As you can see, there's not a whole lot left of this car that I pulled back from the junkyard. It kind of looks a lot like the ones my uncle used to work on, where you'd go find it in like a farmer's field, and he'd bring it back, and would have, you know, a little bit of metal left over, maybe some of the frame and that sort of thing, and you have to totally, basically totally rebuild the whole thing, um, working just a little bit with some of the parts that he found. So that's kind of what we're doing now, uh, this nice old 1929 car. Uh, so this will be a nice uh, a nice one when it's finished, I think. Um, this is a mod that's by, I think its name is uh, Fulsick? Uh, I, I'm not sure, entirely sure how to pronounce it, but he... Uh, He's got a couple of different cars on the, the Steam Workshop, so I thought we'd work on this tonight. Uh, now, over here, we also have the uh, the Ferrari Berlinetta that we started last time. Uh, at the end of the last stream, we got uh, the engine rebuilt on this. Uh, we cleaned up the body and everything. I don't think we got to the point of doing suspension or anything like that as well. So what I thought we'd do first today is uh, complete the Ferrari so that it's all finished up, and then we'll, we'll get the... Uh, uh, the Model L on uh, on a lift, and we'll get that started. We'll get it all ripped apart and rebuilt. We have about two hours tonight. We're going to stream until about midnight Eastern time. That should be enough time to do both cars easily, I would think. And also take them out for a test drive, so I think it'll be good. Welcome, everyone who is here already in the chat. Uh, those of you who are here all the time, fantastic. Welcome again. Anyone who's new, welcome. Uh, I think it'll be a fun night. Now, I like streaming this game. I've said it before because I just like... It it's a chill game. I can, I can just hang out and I can chat with you guys while we're playing. There's nothing really high pressure about this game whatsoever, unless you're unless you're Caitlyn there, because uh, she doesn't like the car crashes so much. <laughs> um, but otherwise, it's just a nice opportunity for me to kind of poke around in the car. We can chat a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hi, THD. Welcome to the stream. I like the car, you do a good job on it. Thanks very much. This is very, uh, you know, it's uh, it's very uh, lots of craftsmanship went into this. I, I trained for years to be able to buff this thing down. <laughs> Um, you should be able to see the chat, the Langor, I, th I would think. Uh, I have the chat overlay on the stream anyway, so we'll see. I am getting a notice from YouTube that uh, it's looking a little... Like there might be an issue with the stream, so let me know if you're seeing any lag on YouTube as well, because it's uh, sometimes these notices they give me aren't all that accurate, but... Alright, let's get let's get busy on the underside of this thing. I have no idea what I actually managed to repair on this. And what I didn't, so we'll find out soon enough, but I guess we'll, we'll get started with the front end suspension, and fortunately we did fix the uh, cross member. We're going to need bushings, because I never have enough of those. A Joe Canadian driver in the shop. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, uh, hopefully I'm not Canada's worst driver, although if you've seen me playing the game before, uh, I am most definitely not Canada's best driver. <laughs> I find controlling this game really hard. When you step on the gas, there's no... Uh, I might as well stock up on these things. I'm going to need a lot of them anyway. Um, there's no putting on the acceleration a little bit. It's all on or all off. So, consequently, a lot of the cars tend to, like, spin out and everything. So, stream's fine. Okay, fantastic. Just like for you. Nice. <laughs> right after somebody says so. Well, hopefully it'll, uh, hopefully it'll work out okay. I am streaming at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which uh, I, I often will cap out at 720, but I've been trying to up the bit rate a little bit. See if we can get a little better, a little bit of better feed for those of you who have uh, solid internet and uh, want to see it at a little higher resolution. You're from Ontario. That's fantastic. I'm from Ontario too, and I'm about an hour away from Toronto. It kind of—it's pretty much everything you get in Ontario gets measured in terms of your distance from Toronto or your distance from Ottawa, I guess. Uh, steering rack. Oh, look, we fixed that too. Man, I've, I think I got lucky on this one. I had a fair number of the parts already in it. Oh, never. The tire rods never get fixed. I forgot to sell all my junk between videos. Wouldn't you know it? So I've got, I've got a ton of junk in my, <laughs> in my inventory. And I don't really want to do it on the stream because it's just so loud. It's like this series of never-ending clicking that just is hugely loud. I'm able to watch all the streams. Well, that's okay. At least you're here for this one. Welcome. Uh, make the car you do for the Lincoln have engine upgrades like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do with it anyway. It would be kind of neat to put some uh, put some performance parts in it, even though they don't necessarily <laughs> they don't necessarily work that way. I have no idea what you can do in terms of some of the modded pieces. Uh, front sway bar B we need. 
Apparently, this particular mod, it doesn't necessarily have the right suspension for that era of car, but the, the game gives li pretty limited options, so they did the best they could with it. Uh, from what I've seen, the, the feedback on it has been fantastic. It just came out, I think it just released it um, December 3rd, so just the other day. Which is kind of cool, it's nice to get on top of it right away. Hi, bank guy. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, right, I need to make some shucks. That's where those bushings will come in handy. I don't think it'll take us too long to finish out the Ferrari. We're, we, we've already did the... I, I find that like, the engine is the part that takes the most time consumption at any rate. So we'll probably have the rest of this slapped together relatively quickly. And we'll get it out for a nice little spin. Uh, I'm going to need some ventilated disc brakes, so I might as well grab those. I wish I knew whether... Uh, is this... I can't remember if this is drums on the back or discs, so I'm not going to buy them just yet. I imagine it's discs, but we shall see. Brake pads I should have got. One thing I don't like so much is the most movement seems weird. Yeah, it's a little bit sluggish, so I've gotten used to not trying to move my mouse around too quickly. I find the faster you try to move the mouse, the more weird it feels. Uh, however, if you just sort of take it easy and you, you kind of let it slide around a little bit, then uh, I found I generally don't have any trouble with it. We're going to have to buy a caliper for the other side. When's it coming out on PS4? I have no idea. No clue. They when the game first came out, like there's still the branding on the on the cover page and everything for Xbox One and PS4, so it is definitely coming out at some point, I would think. Uh, however, they haven't really they haven't really said yet. At least not that I've seen. In all fairness, I haven't really been looking for it because I already have the game, but I haven't seen any announcements about it. 26k Cryptologics now, yeah, <laughs> Cryptologics, <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting name for it. Yeah, it's actually been it's been a fantastic week or two. And the funny thing is, the uh, the video that's driving this huge boost in my uh, in my subscribers lately is a car mechanic 2018 video I put out in August, uh, where we were um, hauling the uh, the Dodge Charger out of the junkyard. It's been a huge video lately for me, which I'm pretty happy about. Confused about, but pretty happy about. Uh, let's get some shock observers in here. To fly over the fence of the racer. I will try not to. I've still only successfully done that with one car. <laughs> Just the one car. It was funny when it happened. That was a lot of fun. We got a chance to kind of drive around and check out uh, stuff that I don't know whether we were supposed to see it or not. Yeah, I'm still jealous of your charger, the Langor. I just have a Hyundai. Not that it's not a good car, it's just not a charger. <laughs> Yeah, that was the Shelby one. Yeah, so we on the, on the live stream, no less. So completely by accident, I crashed the car because I, you know, I'm Canada's worst driver. Shh, don't tell. So I drive along as Canada's worst driver, and I managed to uh, managed to crash the car. It went flying way off the track, and then we got to kind of drive around a little bit, which was pretty cool. Not at all what I was expecting. Fun though. Made for an interesting, uh, an interesting experience on the stream. I wasn't planning to have. <laughs> There's shock absorber in here. Yeah, I hate that all the car names aren't real too. Particularly since I'm not a really big car guy, so I constantly have people correcting me when I try to guess. <laughs> well, thanks, Zach. I appreciate that uh, that I'm your favorite YouTuber. That's nice of you to say. How about all that fluffy sky stuff? What, like clouds? <laughs> um, front end link. Is that what I'm looking for? Man, man, I get looking at the chat and I forgot which letter it was. Was it A or B? A. Important thing to note about me, I have a memory like a squirrel. <laughs> I might have to go back and forth to the shop a few times. I get looking at the chat and reading that and then I, get, I forget what I'm doing. Uh, main reason that I started a channel. That's awesome. Hope it's going well for you, Nick. Nicholas, sorry. Um, Alright, so we've got... Everything on this side, I think, all done. Let's jump over the other side. Just have to get in the engine compartment. There's a few things I didn't finish up over there. Why a squirrel? I don't know. They're small. They remember where their nuts are, but I don't know about anything else. <laughs> Run steering knuckle D. Hi, Percy. Run steering knuckle D. Just one of these. Did I ever find a 55 Chevy? Uh, I don't know. I definitely don't have one in the shop. 
and chance to be playing Super Lucky Tail. I, I haven't really been planning to, to be honest with you. I the, the reviews I've seen on it are kind of mixed. Um, in general, oh that was good. You first item right there. Um, in general, I found that uh, platforming games don't really do particularly well on the channel. Not very many people watch them, and the tricky part I find with them is that once you play through them, there's no replay value. Stuff like this, I can chill and play, and I can just choose what I want to do, and it's you know it's a little different that way. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna play it. I'm not really planning to at the moment. Pulled in by Oni gameplay. They just got creeping. Well, that's good. Creep away. Just don't get too creepy. <laughs> Howdy, Killing Squad. You new to the game or new to the stream? If you're new to the stream, you didn't miss a ton. Uh, we're working on finishing out the Ferrari Berlinetta that I, I started at the end of the last stream. Uh, we had a little extra time. I thought we'd polish it off today before we get into working on the uh, the, the 1929 Lincoln Model L. Don't need a caliper. This won't take too long to finish. We already did the engine rebuild at the end of last stream. And the body's all fixed up and everything. So we're pretty much just at the point where we're doing the suspension, the exhaust, the interior. Ah, oh, of course I didn't have a cylinder. And then... Uh, Give it a paint job. We'll take it out for a quick spin, and then we'll get to work on the 1929 Model L and see how that uh, see how that goes. It looks like a pretty sharp car when it's done. I checked it out in the uh, in the showroom, which is where, actually where the thumbnail's from. 1983 Ford Ranger. What's my dream car? Huh, I don't know. Um, if I was gonna say a sports car, I I rather like the uh, the Maserati. If I was just to say like a classic car, something that something that I would just I'd love the opportunity to drive around in it would be like a 1950s Corvette, and I have no idea why except that I just think I like the body style of it. It's it's apparently a horrible performing machine. Uh, not suggested for stream, but if you're we are billions, it's hard. I haven't even seen that one. I'll have to take a peek at it. Okay, um, I can't do any wheels here. Can I get to the front exhaust right here? There are no items to work with. Front exhaust section I six. I think I need two of those. No. All right. Inline six. That's fine. One side. Front exhaust. Oh, you know what? I should actually look for performance parts for this. I probably should look for performance parts before I stuck all the brakes and everything on this thing. Oh, actually, they don't have performance brakes, so it should be fine. Uh, front exhaust section. I don't think they have an inline six here. No, not so much. I can't remember. Did we perform put performance parts of the engine? I think we did. I'm fairly certain. I'm pretty sure we, I'm, I'm pretty sure we use performance parts of the engine on this. It's just a question of like exhaust and suspension. There's really no suspension options here, uh, so we can use filters and some exhaust. But the uh, the front exhaust section on this does not look like a performance option. Oops, didn't mean to do that. If I ever owned a pickup truck, uh, not personally, my dad owned pickup trucks for years. He had a farm out west. So that's actually what I learned to drive on. I drove on the pickup truck to learn. I think I was 13. <laughs> Lambo Miri would be your choice. Uh, Lamborghini would be nice to drive around in. Uh, front exhaust. All right, so we need, where is it here? Front exhaust section in line six, that's what we want. How many mods do I have in this game? Uh, not that many. I don't. The mods that I play with are just cars, so I, I don't really do stuff that changes the game around too much. Ooh, you know what? I get performance parts of the clutch. Um, I don't really do stuff that changes the car around or the um, the game around too much. I, I like the cars, and that's pretty much it. So I think I have uh, I don't know maybe four or five so far. I haven't been playing this as much as when it first came out, uh, but I do want to get through some more of the. Uh, some more of the modded cars that people are putting up because some of them look really good. This one we're going to work on tonight. Again, we're finishing out the Ferrari Bertolinetta first that we started at the end of last stream. I think I already... No, did I just put the wrong clutch on there? I don't know if I grabbed the performance part one. Oh, I already had one. Ah, oh, drat. You know what? I probably bought the performance clutch parts at the last stream. I did. <laughs> and then I forgot to... forgot I already had them. That'll learn me. I should really look at my inventory before I start uh, buying stuff. That's okay, though. We have tons of extra fake cash. No harm, no foul. Clutch release bearing. I don't think there's a performance piece for that. No, we're good. Can you buy and fix chrome parts? Um, well, I mean, there's... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I just put a 
bum bearing on there. <laughs> Let's fix this car up pristine, but we'll put like one really bad bearing in the middle of it and see what happens. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Yeah, there's like, a, I don't know, you can buy performance parts, but I don't think there's any need to fix them, because none of them are really messed up, but... Got the Canadian Plates mod. Oh, I should grab that. I keep I keep meaning to, and I forget. Uh, where is it? Uh, clutch bearing. Need a computer for this game. Yeah, this game is kind of a. It's it's a little hard of the hard of the computer to be honest with you. Ooh, gearbox did not get fixed. I actually can't even play this game on on like top graphic settings, which is a little surprising for me. But something about the way it's optimized just uh, isn't working so great. Okay. We've got all of that. Um, exhaust manifold in line six. I wonder... I didn't notice whether that was a performance part. I know there's a couple manifolds in there. What computer would I recommend for this game? I, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm using an, an i7-6700 with... Um, uh, an NVIDIA 960 graphics card and I can't play it on max settings. It just, it, 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 the game's not really well optimized and hopefully they'll keep doing some more optimization on it so it kind of gets better. But I find that the game is super sluggish when I'm playing on, on high graphics settings. So I'm actually playing on medium. It still looks good. It just, I would prefer to play it on, on max setting. All right, so we can get two of these. That'll take care of our exhaust manifold at the front here. Which I can't access from here. I have to get it in the engine bay. All right. We have the parts at least. Ooh, I need a starter too. And that has to get from the engine bay. So that's fine. Okay. Let's get to the back end of the car because we can't put any drive shafts or anything until we take care of this. Your drive axle is good. Okay. Let us put in our... I can aim at this thing. Drive axles are so weird. You have to like aim in the middle of them. You can't just do... You can't just do like a aim at the end sort of thing. Details on the parks make it so... Yeah, it does. But, I mean, it shouldn't be as bad as it is. Like, there should be some opportunity here where it's better. I'm having a brain fart. Are there performance shocks? I don't think there are. There's basically no suspension, if I remember. Yeah, okay. So, we have engine parts. We have exhaust parts. And air filters. So, that's pretty much it. All right. So, we have one shock reserve. We'll need another one. This will do for now. hub and it's just as well that I didn't buy the extra disc for back here because it was drums yeah well yeah, I guess it could be the amount of items but I, I don't know my chat's lagging that's not good break shoes and oh I do have one how about that break drums I do not have we'll buy those what vid card? I have uh, the NVIDIA 960. It's like a two a two gig card. It's not so the computer that I have. I, I bought um, I bought it at Best Buy. It's the the HP Omen, uh, which is the HP's gaming series. It's just an out of the box PC. I didn't build it myself or anything. Um, it's not the top of the line version that they sell. This is um this is sort of like a middle middle of the road sort of one, but it was a significant improvement from the, the computer that I had previously because the one I had was just it was basically a potato. So the upgrade was really good for me. It did a lot of good things for my work processes and everything too because it helped a lot with uh, with the time consumption on doing everything. But I have been finding that it performs really well. I've had zero issues at all with with games aside from this one. But in, in looking around, it seems like it's... Uh, I should, probably should see if I can fix that first. Um, I probably should have... Uh, or sorry, uh, looking around, it, it seems like um, other people are saying they've had performance issues as well. Even when they're using a monster of a machine. So maybe it's not my computer. I think, I think maybe it's the, the game optimization. Grandpa builds hot rods. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I used to toy around like a very little bit with cars when I was younger, like when I was a, a teenager kind of thing. I've never been a big, I'm never really like a huge car expert. I'm not one of the people that memorizes all the different types of cars and knows all the different performance standards and everything like that. I could do a very basic, oops, I did not mean to go all the way up here. I could do a very basic work on the car. I used to do stuff like uh, brake jobs and that kind of thing. But I am definitely no mechanic. 
So don't expect me to be like a super genius when it comes to uh, knowing all the different models of cars and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see people probably correcting me a lot in the, the comments, but... Chat is dizzying on YouTube. <laughs> it's going a little bit quickly tonight, yeah. You guys are really active tonight. That's good. Like that. I apologize if I'm missing some of the stuff you're saying. I, if I'm looking at the screen, I don't. Uh, I have uh, I have chat and everything on a different monitor, so it's not always easy to spot. Oh, two old Corvettes. That's cool. I don't know why I like the uh, the '50s Corvette. I just there's something about the the look and shape of it that I think is really neat. When do you think Ripple remembered it? Mod you on Twitch? Uh, I don't know. I gotta remember how. <laughs> I thought I already did. No, I guess I didn't. I think it's just slash mod, right? Hold on a second. Sorry, there's no sound in the game when I when I kick out of it. I don't know why that is. Uh, Ari Luco. There you go. That was easy. Got tried to be 560 went to trade this time. Yeah, I actually I I don't know how upgradable this PC is. That's the tricky part sometimes when you get it out of the box. And it was really easy to just take it home, set it up, and get to work. Um, but I didn't even look at the part I was going after. <laughs> Wheel hub. Gosh. Uh, Wheel hub 4, I think it was? Man, I'm having the worst brain farts today. Yeah, it was Wheel hub 4. Uh, I was right. You want to be a mod? I'm not making a whole lot of random mods. <laughs> Ari Loco's been on the following along with the channel for quite a while, and uh, he's really active in the Discord, that sort of thing. Speaking of which, if you do like to chat, uh, we do have a Discord set up for the channel. The uh, the link to access the Discord should be in the the description for the stream below. Solid rear drive axle. Wow, the, you're right. The the YouTube chat is flying by today a little bit. The old ones are easily upgradable. Okay, well it's not. It's a mid-sized tower. It's not a full-size tower. Um, so I guess I'll have to see. Oops. Uh, solid. There we go. Never used Discord. Uh, do you have to sign up? Yeah, you have to, like, you, uh, there's, I think there's an online version you can use. Um, you do have to sign up for it. And you need a special link in order to access the Discord. And I, I put the link on the channel, and I usually put it in all the videos and stuff, too, so people can find it. Uh, rear shock. There's also an application you can download if you just want to have it on your computer or on your phone. Because I think you can do this on your phone as well. I don't have it on my phone. I probably should. Except that then I'd be one of those addicts that just never gets off of it. <laughs> Mid ATX, which you have fit uh, 1070 Ti in there. Oh, okay. That's cool. Welcome, fancier than fancy. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I think we have. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, fuel tank. I did not have one of those. Okay, there is a performance fuel pump, uh, but I'm gonna see if I happen to have one already in in my inventory before I before I buy it. I do. Nice. Okay, we're down to the exhaust system now, I think, and then we need to get into the engine compartment. There's a couple more pieces to slap in there. If anyone is uh, new, just joining the stream, we're finishing off the Ferrari Bertolinetta that I started at the end of last stream. Uh, it won't take long to finish this. We're almost, actually almost done at this point. Um, and then we're going to move on to the 1929 Model L that I, I grabbed as a, as a mod. Alright, so we're going to need rear muffler V8, middle muffler, and a, is that it? I guess that's it. Alright, uh, those are, there are performance parts for these, I think, so we're going we're gonna to jump in and get those. Um, maybe not. There we go. Rear muffler V8, overhead valve. Rear muffler V8. That's what I want there. Uh, where's the middle muffler? There we go. I had to sacrifice a 140 millimeter fan for the vid card, which put a hurting on your CPU. Oh, that's not so good. So is it overheating all the time on you now? Oh, it was the... Oh, oh rat. <laughs> I'm really good at buying the wrong parts. I could be using the shopping list, but I just find it such a nuisance to add stuff onto that shopping list. I don't, it's to be a pain to do it all the time. Too much clicking. 
It's like click, 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 click. Okay, so we're down to fixing up the wheels, I think. We got vintage tires, vintage tire B, and the retro rim 12. I think it's just that, and then a couple things in the engine compartment. Uh, put some oil in it, give it a paint job, take it for a spin. Should be fun. <laughs> Hi, James. Everybody jumping ship. Do the channel, really like the casual gameplay. Thanks, Soda Man. This is my favorite game for casual gameplay. Because it's just so chill. I can just relax and play it. You know, so, a lot of other games, you kind of have to pay attention a lot to what's going on. Whereas this, I can spend a lot more time looking at the chat. It still goes by pretty quick, so I might miss stuff. And I apologize for that, but I can catch a little bit more. According to the Surge 1080p, playing and uploading vids at the same time, I got a game crash. Oh, that sucks. Surge is an interesting game. I have that, but I, I didn't really play it a lot. It was a little bit more graphic than I was expecting. So when I uh, when I started playing it as, on a stream on the channel, I was like, oh man, this is really, uh, <laughs> for a family-friendly channel, this might be pushing it a little bit. So I haven't uh, I haven't really played it much. But there was a new update that just came out for that, I think, uh, like an expansion. What computer model? I have uh, an HP Omen. It's um, an i7-6700 with uh, a 960 NVIDIA card. Something about screaming. No, streaming. Cryptic, do I play Mudrunner? I do have it. I played it a couple times. I need to play it some more. Uh, I actually have a lot of games now. <laughs> I have a lot of games that I want to play. I'm, I'm having a really hard time finding all the time to do it. This isn't a full-time gig for me. I just do it for fun. So generally I play late at night when I get the opportunity, and that's when I do all my streaming. So if you're curious why I'm always... Oops, I should probably see if I can fix those first. If you're curious why I'm always streaming late at night, it's because that's when I have the opportunity to do it. Oh, I can only fix two of them. All right. And I broke one. <laughs> Good job. Caps and no love for CF. Hey, I don't, I'm not bothered by caps. It's fine. I mean, if somebody's doing caps all the time, I don't want other people get irritated by it, so I don't want that. As long as everybody's chill, I'm good. Uh, I, yeah, I broke one of the rims. Good job. Like, 96% chance to fix it. And the odds that I... That the frequency that I managed to break stuff is still just blows my mind. So, I need... Uh, rim routes of 12 is 15-inch. I should, probably should have paper here handy. From Retro 12. From Retro 12. There we go. 15 inch ones. Grab three of these. Oops, not four. Three. Thank you very much. Don't receive notifications. I do, but I only get some of them. That's why I keep missing your live streams. Oh, sorry, Gary, Gary Loyalty. If Actually, if you go back to the main channel, there should be a bell next to the subscribe button. And if you click on that, it should give you all of the notifications, notifications going forward. And now that I have access to... Um, whoops, I didn't mean to leave there. Now that I have access to the community tab as well, um, you have an option when you're doing those notifications about whether you want to be notified about like messages I post in the community portion. Um, so if you're not familiar with the community tab, it's like an area that's so, sort of like social media. I didn't even check what tires I need. Um, it's kind of like social media. I can put like pictures, videos, notices. So like I put I put this week. Oh, come on, I put this week's uh, stream schedule in there, for example, this week. Um, and it's gonna be that kind of thing. So like random stuff I'll throw in there. I'm, not, I'm trying not to spam anybody because I, I don't want you getting a tons of notices for that stuff. But uh, if you want to see those notices as well, you can you can. Adjust the settings for that in, uh, in that notification thing. You love Kazi and he ignores Twitch, so it's doubly fun. <laughs> it's just really hard to follow both chats sometimes. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm just making a quick note. I need 205, 60, R15. Make sure I need all the same size. 205, 60, R15s. Yeah, we're good. Those are vintage. Well, welcome to your first live stream, Viking. Uh, how often do I stream? A lot lately, actually. Uh, normally, so my my consistent schedule I try to stick to as much as possible is uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And then depending on uh, sorry, 205. So, uh, depending on my uh, my availability, I'll stream other days as well. So uh, lately, I've been streaming as many as like four or five times a week. It's always late at night. Um, I never really get a chance to stream uh, earlier on. Wait a minute, I need 60s. There we go, man. Talking and thinking at the same time. My brain doesn't work so well. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I've been streaming probably uh, between three and five days a week, I think, of what I've been doing relatively consistently. 
Do I play spin tires? I have spin tires, and I should play more of it. I've only played it a couple times. There's a couple videos on the channel from it, actually. Um, but I really want to play more. And here's the worst part. I just got two more games today, so now I'm <laughs> now I'm really trying to figure stuff out. Well, Kazi's to, Kazi to blame for my late night playing after the fact. So when I finish the stream, I'll often kick over to Kazi's channel, and we'll, we'll play a game together there. Um, but in terms of, like, my... My normal stream pattern. I stream late because I have uh, I have work and family and stuff. So those always come first. But yeah, Spin Tires is a fun game. I really need to play more of it. But I, I just got... <laughs> in, in a fit of insanity, I bought uh, uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy today. Which I hear is like one of the most frustrating games ever. But I thought it might be fun to try it out. Uh, and then this, uh, this new game that just came out called Islands... Um, it's kind of like a survival, do anything, build anything kind of game. It's like low poly too, which is kind of neat. It's kind of a cool art style. You don't encourage us to. No, of course you don't. <laughs> Hashtag one more game. Uh, okay, I got all the tires, all the tires installed. I'm just gonna get the rest of them balanced here. Welcome in Germany, Emil. Is it Emil or Emil? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But welcome. And welcome in Germany. What's my favorite game to play? Uh, hands down, it's got to be Oxygen Not Included right now. There are a few games that I'm super addicted to, like uh, Fortnite Battle Royale I've been playing a lot of, just because I have an addiction. I don't know how to break it. <laughs> uh, but in terms of like games that are like over the long period of time, I'm, I'm definitely Oxygen Not Included lately. Yeah, Island should be fun. I'm hoping it is. And I hope people like it also. We'll find out soon enough. Because depending on how people respond to it, it will depend on how much we play it. But Like the joke about Kazi Nightbot, yeah. <laughs> so Kazi's got one on his channel that he does, and I've got mine. <laughs> you don't think getting over it's up my alley? Well, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. It's not... A, I mean, uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, like resource management, a lot of simulation games... Uh, I like creative games that are really really open-ended, so you can do pretty much anything. But I've, I've, I've seen a little bit about that game, and I'm, I kind of want to try the challenge and just see what it's like. And it wasn't an expensive game, so I figured, ah, why not? It's like 8 bucks, 9 bucks Canadian. Thought it might be fun to try out. Is it just called Island? It's called Islands, but it's spelled with a Y instead of an I. No clue why. No pun intended. <laughs> so it's um, Y S L A N D S. That's how it's spelled. What inspired me to start YouTube? You know, I actually I don't really know. So I I started. Um, I've always been really big into gaming. Uh, my brother and I grew up playing video games. You know, oftentimes it was like the arcade and stuff because I'm old as dirt. Um, but uh, we played all the time, like uh, in the arcade. And then we we were we had like an Atari Twenty Six Hundred and all the Nintendos and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've always been really kind of interested in games. And when I noticed that there was this this trend going on of people that were playing games on YouTube, I, I checked a little bit about it. And I was like, oh, that's really kind of cool. That looks fun. Um, my job, the, my normal job life, isn't really super creative. Um, and so it, I was looking for something that was a little different, something that I could kind of have fun with. And I'd never really made any videos and stuff before, but I'm usually a quick study on things. I thought there was a break servo in here for some reason. Am I just missing it because I'm talking too much? I guess not. I thought there was one in here. All right, whatever. Um, so I just uh, I decided one day I'd, I'd start doing some videos, and uh, I started doing. Uh, my channel was largely focused on Disney Infinity for like the first uh, I want to say like two years. So my channel's a little over three years old now, and for the first two years I was really focused on Disney Infinity and the creative aspects of building in a toy box. Uh, there's lots of lo uh, I already had one. I just totally wasted my money. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know. I guess I just um, I thought it'd be fun. It was a neat way to... It was also an excuse to game and get away with it. <laughs> so, I, I, uh, I don't know. I started doing videos that way, and then I got I got kind of hooked on it. And I've been doing it ever since. It is a very time-consuming hobby, but it's one I enjoy.
Okay. Uh, I already bought manifolds, which is good. We can just plug these in. Yeah, that, you got it there. Um, Y-L-A-N-D-S. When I started watching you play this, I thought it was cool. Now you want it. Yeah. <laughs> I find it's the same way when I see people playing games. Like, oh, gosh, I want that game. It looks awesome. I think what I like about this one is that it's a chill game. I have other games that are much more high stress and stuff, but this is one I can just relax with. Radiator A. I do. I, I mean, I do have wishes for, like, that it could be more than what it is. Like, if there's something to do with the cars once you fix them, it would be really great if there was a, a greater ability to do things in the game once you've gone through all the trouble of fixing up all these cool cars. Uh, but it's just not something that's an option. You can, I mean, you can race around on the tracks a little bit, but I mean, you're not racing against anybody else or a computer player or anything. All right, let's uh, let's check the, the condition of this thing. Oops. Frame condition, interior condition, global parts condition, 99%. That might be affected by when I get all the the body and everything done, the interior and stuff. So let's see how that goes. Um, it's coming together, though. We're getting there. Let's do... I have no idea what pieces I had on this car when I took it off and what... It, oh, I didn't have that. Did I have a door? Didn't have that. Man, <laughs> all right. I think we're going to be buying a lot of pieces. Nope, no headlights. No bumpers. Hey, we have a door. Go us. Ooh, it's an ugly blue color. <laughs> Trunk we don't have. Rear bumper we don't have. Oh, this license plate's got to come off of here. Nope, no wait. It wasn't even on there. Aha. It's funny how all the other parts are so see-through, but when you see the license plates, they look like they're actually there already. Tail lights, no. All right, I guess I'm going to buy some parts. No, no, don't do that. Refreshing it was fine. Oh. Yeah, sorry if you get a little bit of a little bit of lag sometimes. Sometimes the uh, the YouTube will buffer and stuff. Yeah, Twitch is fairly active tonight. Eleven people in there. Twitch tends to be the quieter side of things. Usually, uh, the people on YouTube are the ones that are like super active, for chatting and stuff. But then again, I, I often miss stuff that gets said in Twitch because I'm uh, super observant. You know, so sorry about that. <laughs> body spot. Ooh, do we have? What's, what's in the body tuning shop? I wonder if I have any. I, I, probably no parts in here for the Ferrari. No. Just a regular body. What color am I thinking for the car? I don't know. I think maybe we'll take a vote once we get in there. Okay, so we need a bumper. Front grill. Uh, left door. We need glass. Right door we have. We'll get the glass, though, because that stuff never gets fixed. Headlights, tail lights, rear bumpers, rear window. Some of these parts are fairly expensive. It's an expensive car, though. When this thing's all done, I, th I think it's like 750000 or something crazy. That is one thing about the mods in this, is that uh, when you get modded cars, they tend to have some pretty high price tags on them when they're finished. You can make some serious cash, but it's kind of like cheating. <laughs> Fortunately, in this game, the cash really doesn't really mean anything. So I don't feel so bad about it. Ooh, I forgot to take some glass out. Get that out of there. There we go. Talk about splashing your cash, yeah. Paying attention to Twitch. I know, it never happens. Watch you play Fortnite and making faces at CF. <laughs> uh, okay. So, no, it's not Oxygen Not Included. Please tell me I have the title updated on, on Twitch. <laughs> Half the time I go to update it. Sorry, it's the silencer again. No, okay, I did, I did update it. Phew. Half the time I update it, it just doesn't take, and then I gotta go do it a second time. Just about finished. Enter the Twilight Zone. I'm actually reading. Oh my gosh. Well, again, a lot of the games that I'm playing, uh, did I already buy all the parts for this thing and then just buy a second set? That seems like something I'd do. Okay. Uh, let's close the hood down. What do we got? Oh, headlights, front grill. We need that. end on here get our bumper on here I think this pretty much finishes up the exterior of the car I think interior global parts is still showing 99% what is not is it the interior pieces that are giving me the 1% off or did I put a piece in that has a tiny bit of rust on it all right I think it might be the, some of those interior pieces
Mirrors. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that it has any. No, I don't. I'm not trying to start the engine. There are no mirrors. Nothing on this car. That's weird. All right, we're gonna send this over to uh, over to a door so we can work on the interior. Oh, I have no starter. <laughs> that would do it. I forgot about that. Uh, what starter do we need in here? I'm just playing starter. I don't think there's any performance starters, but I'll double check anyway. I should just memorize what parts are in here. That's really bad. I have such a bad memory. I'm good with numbers and stuff, but everything else, just hopeless. Yeah, try to keep the chat and everything family friendly, please. Stada. No, I haven't put oil in it yet either. We'll have to do that. <laughs> I should probably do that right away because I have a, I'm notorious for forgetting to put oil in the car before I try to start it. Fortunately, it doesn't actually hurt anything. However, it would be better to just take care of it now. Or not. There we go. Into the digital broken days. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you get used to the Xbox chat, then having to remember to type is going to be a bit much. So I'm just adjusting a window here. I need to I need a little more space. So much chat going on. I need more room for the chat to fit. There we go. All right, we've got oil in it. Uh, let's get the interior taken care of, and then she'll be ready for a nice paint job. Ooh, look at nice. This is a sharp-looking car, actually. I wouldn't mind having one of these in my driveway. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think my budget is going uh, to allow for that any time in the near future. Short of winning the lottery. Uh, front left seat, front right seat, steering wheel. I don't know I don't know what parts I had in my inventory for this. No. Probably none. Oh, look, we have barn location. Do you want to add the barn location to your map? So they've got these weird things now. So it used to be like as you were leveling up, you'd get barn locations where you could go and find stuff. Look at all the junk I have in here. C3 leather. Is that the one I took off of this thing? I don't even remember. Eh, whatever. We'll just pick seats that look good. Yeah, I tend to... <laughs> I don't... Well, not really around 120. I, I would say I tend to sabotage my base like around 200 cycles. You know what it is? I just... Um, I like starting up games because I find... I find a lot of fun and enjoyment in starting the, the, the colony and building it up. And when it gets to the point where I'm not really trying anymore, um, then I lose a little bit of interest in the colony. I want to start a new one. Just kind of how I am, I guess. Let's do uh, C3 leather, I guess. Put in two of these. I think old game's too easy and the end game is too excruciating. I don't know. I mean, I just, I often find that once I, no, no, the, the 29 Lincoln were working as soon as we finished this one. I was, I just, uh, I had finished, uh, or I'd started working on this, this uh, Ferrari at the end of the last stream. And I was trying to polish it off before we jumped in on the, the 1929. Steering wheel. This will only take a moment. We're already almost finished. I don't really want to put a chain steering wheel here. That just doesn't seem to fit a Ferrari. This, however, looks like something that would fit in a classic. Do I think a chain self uh, self sustainability? Not at the moment. Not in the current colony, anyway. I have gotten colonies to the point where it took like no effort to maintain them anymore. Uh, the one I'm doing currently, though, it still it still has some stuff that's broken that needs uh, it needs a little work. That's good. Oh man, I have got a whole collection of string wheels in here, practically. All right, uh, that's it for the interior. This car's all done. We just need to paint it up. Nice. That's really sharp looking. All right, let's get this painted, and then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it up for a test spin yet. Maybe we'll do that uh, t uh, once we get both cars finished. We'll take them both out for a test drive. Uh, but let's send this over to the paint shop. Figure out what color we're gonna paint it, and then we can get started on the 1929 Model L, which uh, looks really sharp. And I need to open the door before I can walk through it. Man, the lighting in this room makes the car look so weird. I don't think you really got a good idea of what the color looks like in here. All right, uh, I don't think there's any library for this. Oh, there is, Classic Rally. All right, I guess that works. Paint it red for Iconic Ferrari look. All right, uh, let's try that out. Saturation. Yeah, I guess we have like a dark red. It's, it's really hard to tell in here sometimes what, the, what it's gonna look like. I mean, it does look pretty sharp. 
But with the lighting in here, it gives it a really odd sheen. That's really hard to get. Don't get a dog fox addicted to seven days. Ah, uh, yeah. I have, a lot of people have said I should be playing that game. Obviously, it's not it's not something that fits on the channel, but it's something I actually just want to try in general. Everybody's been recommending it. Burning Rubber Classic Rally. I'm not, uh, not entirely sold on the decals, but whatever. Send this out to the door. Bam! All finished. I should probably check the condition of it, though, first. Yeah, so I, I generally try to keep things uh, relatively family-friendly, so I stay, I stay clear of stuff that's like uh, intense gore, horror, that kind of stuff. Anything with a lot of swearing. Um, most other things I'm pretty flexible with, but uh, that kind of stuff I generally try to avoid. So intense zombie games, global body, 91%. What am I missing? Oh, the license plates. Uh -huh. You don't need no stinking license plates. Okay, what kind of what what plate should we put on this thing? I don't have. I, I need to get the mod for the Canadian plates. Decals, decals, livery, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, all right, what plate should we put on this thing? Any preferences? Bulgaria. Who needs plates? I know, right? Just drive without plates. It's harder for people to know who you are. Funny, they have so many, so many options for the U.S., but the international plates are also playing. Italy. All right. That seems like a reason, reasonable choice. It is a Ferrari, after all. Two of these. Uh, let's see. Man, if I could spell, that'd be great. Oh, I don't know what letters. Um... I don't know what the... I don't know, whatever. Uh, let's just call it Ferrari. <laughs> there we go. Custom plates. They say Ferrari. North Dakota. Yeah, maybe we'll do plates for North Dakota for the next car. Plate number one. There we go. Plate number two. This should finish this all off with the Ferrari. Man, that looks sharp. That is a really nice looking car. Wow. How we doing? 100% across the board. Nice. Restoration value. Car value. $938,932. <laughs> cryptic Wolf. Uh, I, don't know about, I don't know if I do Cryptic Wolf, but... Almost a million dollars for this car. One million dollars. Top tip number plate. Yeah. Man, that's sweet. All right, so again, with the modded cars, uh, you know, I don't know if people define what the value is going to be in them. I think maybe they do. That is a really sharp-looking car. So we're all finished with the Ferrari that we started last stream. Let's get into this 1929 Lincoln that I wanted to do today. There is not much left of this car. I'm not even sure what I have to take off of this thing. I can take the hood off. Go me. Uh, I don't think I can. Can I take these? I can take headlights off. Man, by the time I get the body parts stripped down on this, there's going to be nothing left. Just a frame. Uh, wow, I just took the whole front end off. <laughs> We've got seats. I can sit in it. I'm facing backwards. I'm not. I'm sitting inside the seat. I think that that might be a bug. <laughs> that didn't work at all. So the, here's the thing. In order to take the seats off, even though I'm standing right next to them, I have to go into the interior removal in order to take them off. There's no body left on this car. Oops. <laughs> we gotta go into the interior to take it apart. So there's, <laughs> there's not not much to this car, is there? Good lord. Yeah, this car is, it should be really sharp. All right, let's send this over to the lift. I have a feeling this one's gonna be relatively quick to rebuild because there's just not much left. I can't even call it a rust bucket. It's more like a, it's more like a rusty frame. You know what we should do? Is fix it up, but don't put the body on it, and then take it out for a spin. Because <laughs> you can drive it around without the body on it. I'm going to try that. Just for laughs. Oh, it's flying. How about that? Okay, let's uh, get in the engine compartment. We'll pull this stuff out. What else can I get out of here? Brake servo? That can go. Ooh, man, I get a little, little bit of graphic lag. Drive it like this. I'm going to drive it like this. You don't even have to put seats or steering wheels on it. <laughs> I just have to fix it up so it runs. And then when it does, we'll take it out for a spin on the track in its, uh, its wonderful condition. Right, I gotta get underneath to get the rest of this off.
Don't put any plates on it. <laughs> the original card didn't have any. Oh yeah, I wonder if uh, I wonder if it'll require me to. Hopefully not. This one here, you have to you have to turn on like unrealistic tire sizes and stuff too in order to in order to do it properly, I guess. So I, I did that before the stream started. Put a lot of power in the engine. I'm gonna see if we can put some performance parts in it. I don't know. I don't know what we'll have, but 1929 car with performance parts. I really wish you could totally rebuild it and just do something completely different. But now this car apparently has three variants that uh, the guy did for it. Um, and there's an inline six. I think there's a V8, and I forget what the other one is. Oops. I have no idea which one I have. It looks like this one actually. It looks like I have the inline six, but. So just me, yeah. The engine is absolutely leaning. <laughs> Every now and then, with the, with the modded cars, you'll find that things they may not look exactly right when you get into them because they had to work with uh, the existing properties in the game. So yeah, the engine is it is on a bit of a lean. That's probably what they need to do in order to get to fit properly. Uh, let's get the wheel off here. Put a V8 in it. I am kind of curious to see whether whether it will let me just put a completely different engine in this thing. I'm pretty sure it has to be the, the particular one that you have, but because all the parts they come they come so labeled. Like if uh, if you don't put the right engine in it, then your exhaust doesn't set up properly. Unless the game adjusts for that, I haven't really experimented with it too much. Could maybe try putting a V8 in. We'll see what happens. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get I'll buy the V8 block, because that way we're not spending a ton of money on something I can't use, and we'll see if it'll let me put the block in the car. And if it does, then we can probably build up the V8 engine and slap it in. And then I have no idea how it's going to align with all the uh, <laughs> all the exhaust and everything that it has tied into it. Engine swap with the Corvette. Yeah. Ooh, I think I, I do have an engine out in the or I have a Corvette out in the shop probably. I think I already rebuilt that one, though. I'm kind of curious whether it'll let me do it. All right, this can go. Oh nope, nope, got one more, one more bushing left. Is this game available for phones? No, it's uh, YouTube's lagging. It is. Oh, that stinks. I'm sorry to hear that. You might want to change the resolution on it because I'm I'm pushing it at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you're getting buffering on YouTube, you might try lowering the resolution. Uh, I have to be in the engine bay for that. I missed taking the battery out. Rat. Uh, drive shaft. We gotta get that off. If I can aim at it, give me the drive shaft. Why can't I pick the drive? There we go. Jeez. Please don't. <laughs> I just want to see the inline six rebuild. Maybe what I'll do is I'll um I'm gonna rebuild it the way that it's supposed to be. And then once we're all finished, if we have time at the end of the stream, I think it'll be interesting to see if... Oh, oh. It's just my pattern. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether we can actually put different engines in these things. I mean, if you're doing it in a real car, it would take some, some real modifications. Because your engine mounts would be in different places. And you'd have to make sure that it's something that actually fixed in the engine compartment properly. And lines up right with your drive shafts and everything. Your chat stopped working. Sorry to hear that, Loki. Like I said, if you're getting a lot of buffering in YouTube, uh, you might want to lower the resolution settings, and that might help a bit. I'm still showing. I mean, it's showing I'm getting a good feed to YouTube, but and I'm pushing at seven uh, seven megabits per second, so it should be plenty of quality coming through. It's just a question of whether you, YouTube is handling it or if uh, if your own internet is. All right, least frame. There we go. Yeah, so this game is supposed to come out on console, I think. They have all the branding and everything on the the splash graphics when you load in. But so far, I think it's only out on PC. I haven't heard anything further about console. Definitely not on phone. At least not, not that I know of right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Not, you can't do a lot about your internet service provider, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> Join the dark side in Twitch. Not the, the poor vehicle. <laughs> I 
I mean, the rebuilding aspect of this game is really cool. I, I really would, uh, I think it would be a lot of fun if you could, like, totally modify cars. Like, putting in some performance parts is one thing. But, to, like, just to totally change it around, that'd be pretty sweet. Get the, get the cutting torch out and just modify it all. Yeah, like a rat rod, exactly. <laughs> Found a 1915 Model T with a 1965 Corvette engine in it. Oh my goodness. Plug that in. Hi Bryson, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Incidentally, you probably noticed that anyone who subscribes to the channel uh, while we're streaming, you get that little pop up at the top. Same thing for like uh, Super Chats or sponsors, that sort of thing. Oh, they're really weird lean to this thing. <laughs> it's throwing me off. All right. That's all taken care of. We got uh, the battery left in the engine compartment we have to take out. And there's nothing left of this but a frame. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Pull the engine out of here and this thing's toast. The battery charge over here while we're at it. There we go. See if we can repair any of the parts. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Uh, we'll send this over to the lift so we can fix the body, <laughs> what there is of it. <laughs> we can weld the frame, that's about it. I wonder if I have to clean the interior. What do you think? <laughs> There's no interior to clean, I wonder what'll happen. Let's send it over. Send that to lift one. Uh, and then we need our engine crane. Goes from calm to crashing. <laughs> Yeah, when I get it on the track, my uh, my driving skills leave a little bit to be desired. All right, we got the engine out. Man, there is nothing left of this thing, isn't it, sweet? Okay, here's now here's a big question: What happens if we clean the interior on it? No, oh, no, don't do that. Really, a thousand dollars to weld the frame? All right, well, whatever. We fixed the frame. Ta-da! <laughs> Set prices. Watch your videos, but never had time to subscribe. Well, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. I can pay a hundred dollars to fix the to clean up the interior that doesn't exist, but it, I'm sure it needs to be done. All right, I, I just seriously just just mopped up the floor or something. <laughs> there's there's nothing. It's just a frame. Okay, let's get our engine on here. Take this all apart. It looks like we have most of the parts of the engine, too, which is kind of nice. Shiny, yeah. <laughs> Can you get this on Steam? It is on Steam. It's like 20 bucks. I figure it's pretty good value, considering how much I played it. It's funny, like, I, I, a lot of people ask me, like, is this worth X number of dollars or whatever? And largely... For most games, I, th I try to think of it in terms of what, what entertainment value am I getting out of it. And I usually compare it to movies, because I used to watch a lot of movies. Don't as much anymore, but I used to. So I figure if I can get uh, more value out of a game than I would get just going to the movies, then it's good value to me. And if I could see a movie and I would get more entertainment value out of it, then I'm not likely to buy the game. <laughs> YouTube streaming is really good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the biggest advantage for YouTube streaming is discoverability. Uh, it's a little harder for people to find stuff on Twitch. It just doesn't present as readily uh, as YouTube streaming does. Plus, I mean, the, the I mean, my whole channel's over there on YouTube. So, uh, but there there are certain opportunities. It's funny that um, it's funny they're kind of lagging behind a little bit in some of the performance for the stream. That's one thing that I just would not have expected with a beast like Google, but. Otherwise, I like most aspects of it on YouTube. Finally, yeah, I ran a Lysol wipe down the frame. That $100 Lysol wipe. That thing, you know, it was it was a 1929 Lysol wipe, so it, uh, you know, you got to pay for those classic parts sometimes. <laughs> uh, Addy, maybe do you want to play Fortnite with me? Uh, I would, you know, there's a lot of people asking me to play Fortnite, and unfortunately, it's just not something I can do. Um... I do some live streams with Fortnite, and I'm actually streaming it on Friday night. And usually when I'm playing, I'll open it up so that people who are watching the stream can join if they like. Um, but there's just too many people that want to play and only one of me, so I, I can't really commit to playing with anyone. Alright, we're down to the down to the block, but we got to get the pistons out of this. Give it a little spin. And go. 
Does that say poo or pod? <laughs> Vacuum off all the dust, yeah. I'm guessing that emoji says poo. We have tried it, but if you uh, prefer to play with zooming, when you remove bolts off, it's in the options you find, it helps a lot. Oh, so it doesn't, you mean like it doesn't zoom in all the time when you're removing bolts? That would be handy sometimes. Okay, down to the crankshaft, get that out. Our block, oh, nope, there's something, oh, the oil filter, ha huh. Ta-da, she's toast. There's literally, there's almost nothing left of this car. It's just a big metal frame. Thanks, Patoff, I'm glad you enjoy them. Try bribing me, what's this now? All right, this is gonna be a lot of clicking, a lot of noises, I apologize for this. Do you gate the camera on spin tires? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. I was a live stream and I feel bad because I didn't watch it. Well, the reality is like you can't make it to every stream. But, unless you're Caitlyn. Caitlyn seems to manage that really consistently. I don't know how you manage it, Caitlyn. <laughs> Thank you, though. Um, but it's really hard to catch everything. Uh, particularly if somebody's streaming at different times of day. Definitely says poo was toward the... <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right, uh, let's get the engine back together. All right, we fixed the block. Actually, I should check and see, what, is there a performance block for this? Take a refresher of what we have here in performance pieces. Oh, okay, so we have the heads instead. Uh, engine head inline six, or is it inline six B? It's the inline six. So get the engine head. I'm gonna grab. Was it a two-barrel side carb on this thing? I think it might have been. I'm gonna grab an alternator while we're in here. Oh, I need to double check. I think it was the two-barrel side carb. Do I hate the camera on spin tires? Oh yeah, it's a bit. Uh, I, it takes a little getting used to. I don't necessarily know that I would say that I hate it necessarily, but it, it's not. Uh, it's definitely not ideal, that's for sure. Oops, dropping my pen on the floor. Just sure to cap line six. Grab a rotor over in here. We can grab. Grab some wires, I guess. We can get uh, pistons while we're in here. Grab six of these. Power steering inline four. Uh, I have a feeling this is the right power steering pump. Yeah, what not? I got, I got tons of cash. I'll just buy whatever. Side drift is the filter we need. We need six spark plugs. Man, lots of parts for this we can snag. This doesn't have a turbo on it, so don't have to worry about that. Throttle. Sorry, one second, I got a cough. Ooh, sorry about that. Put a supercharger on it. I don't know how modifiable that kind of stuff is. If the engine's not set up for a supercharger, I don't know if you can put it on. Pilot and his tricks. Thanks very much. Glad you enjoyed the channel. Forgot to hatch how much you started with. Well, I kind of stopped paying attention to that just because I uh, I sold a NASCAR uh, NASCAR modded car that I ended up fixing up. They gave me this huge influx of cash. It was like it's almost a million dollars. So I was like, well, at this point, it doesn't really matter what kind of cash I have anymore. Uh, get him some camshafts here. Okay, I think we got a, a good chunk of performance parts. That should give us most of what we need. Eh, except I didn't fix the crankshaft. Drat. Hi, Jake Lowe. Welcome to the channel and the stream. Thanks for subscribing. Crankshaft. Inline 6. Hopefully it's not the 6B. Then I'll be upset. Oh good, it's not. Uh, I need crankshaft bearing caps. I'm gonna need rod caps and I'm gonna need piston rings. Hi, Redden. Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, look at that. We have crankshaft bearing caps right there. Uh, I need... Is it three of these? I think I need three. I'm gonna need piston rings. Cat food. 
I must have missed something going on in Twitch. Oh, I need way more than three. One, two, three, four, five. Man, I need like five of these things. I don't have enough. I need two more. Drat. Some week back. Can't stop checking for new videos. Well, I appreciate that. I'm really glad you enjoy it also. Have a good night, Mason Shep. Thanks for coming out. Bearings. Two. Hi, Hunter. Welcome to the stream. 86 people. Yeah, it's kind of fluctuating around. So we've got like, uh, there's, it's bouncing between like 85 and 90. It got up as high as I think 102 or something earlier. But it always fluctuates. And then on Twitch, there's, uh, what, 16 people there? That's all right. Oh, good thing I didn't buy rod caps. I already have a bunch. <laughs> I almost did, too. If my memory was was worth anything at all, I would have I would have bought those rod caps. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not. See, having a bad memory does help. Stop mocking me. You should do a build challenge, which is not buying parts at all, except the one that can't be fixed, and only use parts you find in cars in the scrapyard. Oh, that'd be interesting. I wonder how long that would take, though. Because you'd have to keep going back to the junkyard looking for the pieces you need, and you have to find them in good enough condition you could fix the piece, because not all pieces can be fixed. You'd have to make an exception for those parts that are never fixable, though. Unless I got the... I guess I could install the mod that lets you fix them. I guess that would work. Go all original, more money. Do you get more money when you sell the, the car if you go all original parts? I'm using performance on this one, but... I've never tried. See, I, I mean, again, the cash really isn't my primary concern in this, because it's... There's, no, there's really nothing you could do with it in this game. You just get more and more of it, and then using that, you get more. <laughs> What's my favorite car from the junkyard? Um, I think so far it was the Shelby, but I'm slightly biased because it was a lot of fun to drive it on the track and then fly it through the air off of the track. <laughs> the, yeah, the Dodge Charger was great to put together, too, though. I've done that one twice now because I did... Uh... What am I missing here? Uh, the Dodge Charger was great. I did it twice. I did one that was um, like black, and I did one that looked like the General E. That was fun. Hard to control on the track, though. Very, very hard. When will the next Gold Rush video be? Uh, good question. Probably sometime this weekend. And now that I have my Tier 3 set up ready, I want to get in there and do some mining. So part of the reason why I hadn't done more of it up to this point was because I had to... Uh, I had to earn up some gold so that I could, I could buy the next level tier... Couldn't seem to get enough of a loan. <laughs> I guess I guess the loan size in the game is based on how much gold you've managed to harvest, even though you might not have the cash left over from it. It's kind of a weird, weird structure, but... Um, there's the performance camp shaft, so put those in. <laughs> I should put this car in the dino after. <laughs> Make no sense at all. <laughs> oh, I need three uh, three side draft carbs in this. Oh, which means I didn't I didn't grab enough filters in either. I want to try gold for yourself, but reviews make it seem like an incredibly buggy mess. Oh, it's very buggy. Don't get me wrong. It is definitely a buggy game. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm having fun with it regardless. You gotta kind of—I don't know. It's some some parts of it are a little frustrating. Like driving the the truck around can be a, a bit of a challenge. It just does not cooperate. If you uh, if you start to like drift on the, with that thing at all, it turns into a hot mess. But I still really enjoy it. So I don't know. Take it for what it is, I guess. There are going to be people who are going to hate it who can't handle the bugs, and then people like me who just don't care all that much. It's like, oh, come on. As long as it's fun, I can deal with the bugs. Filter, filter, filter. Good challenge to do a car with minimum repair to start the engine and get it running. Well, I'm going to take this one out on the track once we get the mechanical parts all finished. I'm not even going to do the body. We'll take it for a drive with no body on it. <laughs> I think it'll let me out the door. Hopefully. Uh, I haven't tried the VA block, no. So I, what I'm going to do is, I'm, I think I'm going to build this out. You know, let me try the block now. If we buy a V8 block, we can just tr try slapping it in here. Um, do it here, block. I'll probably build it out with the, with the inline six that it has now, and then later, 
Um, if we want to try it out, we can do... We'll, we'll try putting a V8 in it. I Like I said, I think the variant for this accepts a V8, so I'm curious to see what will happen. Uh, let's see. There are no items to work with. Uh, I may not be able to do this. Yeah, it's looking specifically for the inline six. It doesn't seem to give you the option to change it, unfortunately. It would be really nice if you could swap, like swap engines and stuff around and play around with it, but it seems like the, the vehicles are all coded for a particular engine and particular parts. They added some performance parts in, which make it look neat. Yeah, the, per the and the parts on this look really good. Um, but you don't really have that flexibility to just do whatever you want. You kind of have to work within the confines of the game. Camshaft caps, I don't think I have any of. Yeah, they're all busted. Uh, what do I need? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen of them? That's an odd number. I mean, not literally an odd number, but it's odd in the sense that I didn't think I have to buy that many. Camp Chef Cap, uh, in line six. We need fourteen of them. What's my next car going to be? I don't know. Uh, a lot of the time I'm looking for, for stuff that just kind of sort of catches my interest. I have a garage full of stuff that I've hauled out of the junkyard uh, that I still haven't finished off. I have like some like El Caminos, Camaros, variety of other stuff. Uh, I really should try to work through some more of those. Um, but lately I've been really interested in the mods because some of the some of the cars that people have been putting in are really, they're really kind of cool. Don't forget you have a brand new block to use now. Yeah, I, I'll forget that for sure. Guaranteed. No question. If we do a V8, though, it, it'll come up. So, you know, if, if I'm not successful in fixing the original block, I'll see it in there when we go to put the engine back together. So there's that, I guess. Hi, Matt, Joe. How's it going? Owen, is the end game good? So is this game good? Uh, it really depends on what you like. Uh, I've actually been kind of enjoying simulator games lately. It, uh, there aren't something that I played a lot of before. Uh, and I mostly started with, uh... There was something else I played. I don't remember. It was like a demolitions game or something. It was kind of novel, but I got tired of it quick. Uh, I've been having more fun with this game. Uh, so I would say, yeah. I mean, for 20 bucks, this has been a really good entertainment value for me. It's not, it's not without its bugs. Like, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong. And it could use some more optimization, but in terms of just, like, general enjoyment for gaming, if you like this kind of thing, it's a good game. Now, if you hate this kind of stuff, like, if you were, like, if you were like Caitlyn, for example, <laughs> you probably no enjoyment in this game whatsoever. <laughs> I like it, though. You should do the El Camino. Yeah, I, actually, I should get another El Camino from the junkyard, because the one I have is in too good a condition. I feel like it needs to be beat up more. Ooh, there, wait, there's a, there's a performance water pump here, I think. I think, I think. Uh, power steering, throttle, turbo. Maybe not. I thought there was a performance water pump. Maybe I was just thinking of power steering pumps. I guess so. All right. So we can put on the water pump I have. Oh. Farming sim, gold digging sim. Yeah, I actually, I have another sim, actually. I just got access to the closed beta for um, House Flipper. Uh, I want to try that out, too. I have, I'm, I'm getting too many games now. <laughs> I have so many things I want to try. Oops. Uh, oh, wait, is there cam gears in here? No. Why don't I use the filter in perf part page? I don't understand what you mean. In the performance part page? Because it's all, it all fits on one page anyway. Uh, cam gear. So the reason I, the reason I don't, I don't generally go, like even the filters at the top, right, to get it to the, the kind of pieces you want. Uh, there's only a couple of them that have pieces anyway. So like if you look, it's, it's only like a quick scroll down and you've got everything here. But if you go to the engine, you've got uh, a few items here which con consists of almost everything. So almost all the performance parts fit in engine. If you go to suspension, you've got nothing. Brakes, you've got nothing. Exhaust, you've got a few pieces for that. And gearbox, you've got your, your gears. So for the most part, filtering to the engine gives you almost everything. So I just I don't generally really use it. I'm also a slacker. So oddly enough, for some reason, like scrolling for me is like 
these. Oh, did I just do that? <laughs> I, I totally did. Whee! House Flipper saw this. Seems cool. Yeah, it's also apparently a real buggy mess, but I'm actually kind of interested in playing it. What did I do wrong? I grabbed the round camera. It's the inline six ones I need. One time I watched Cryptic play Karma King Simulator 20 in the year 2017. <laughs> hey, Kazi. Didn't realize it was you for a second. I was expecting, usually you lead with an insult, and that makes it easier. <laughs> slacker, that's right, I am a slacker. Stuff caters to my laziness, I'm all over it. Engine head cover. Engine head cover. Is that the right one? No, it's this one. That's the one we need. This engine's getting close to finished. We still got a bit to go. Uh, engine cover ice in line six. All right. So when we get, uh, where's my distributor here? Oh, I have to get. All right, I gotta get all this together first. Water pump pulley I don't have. Just got a job at a BMW. Just got a job at BMW three months ago. Was able to buy my dad a '69 Camaro. Oh, nice. I like BMWs. I'd love to own one. Love to own one. Probably never going to. <laughs> If I did, my kids would destroy it anyway. Have a good night, Kobe. Or Cody. Thanks for coming out to the stream. As far as the end game, good. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been finding it pretty entertaining. Now, uh, uh, full disclaimer, I actually got a free copy of the game. Um, but I've been enjoying it so far. It, it's It needs more building. There's like, uh, I'm actually streaming it tomorrow night if you want to check it out. So I'll be streaming it tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, but um, it, there's only like four levels, I think, right now. So it's going to need it's gonna need some more development in order for it to get better. But so far, I'm enjoying it. But I, I like those kind of like resource management type games and real-time strategy type games and that sort of thing. I'm kind of weird that way. Uh, time to change Sprocket. Now's the time on Sprocket's when we dance. Time cover? Did we fix it? We did not. Of course we didn't. Time cover inline six. Time cover inline three? What? Alright. Hello, typical player. Uh, we've been streaming for a little while, so you probably missed a few things. Nothing crazy. Uh, we finished the Ferrari Berlinetta that I started at the end of the last stream. Uh, so we got that all finished up, and now we're working on uh, the Model L here. We ripped the engine out, got all the parts of the car taken apart. We spent uh, a small fortune welding the frame and, for some reason, cleaning the frame. <laughs> now we're, getting, we're at the point where the engine's almost finished being rebuilt, and we can put it back in the frame with... It's going to look really weird because there's, like, no body or anything on it. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the engine, we'll plug it in the car... <laughs> such as it is, gonna like it's gonna be flying basically, but we'll get it in there, and then once we have that, we'll finish out the rest of the perform or the rest of the mechanical parts, and then we're gonna take it out for a spin with like no body, no seats or anything, and see what it looks like. And then when we're done that, we'll come back to the shop and we'll actually finish out the body and everything. Uh, I need a crankshaft pulley. Crankshafts. Crankshaft pulley in line six. Hi, Cryptic. You are awesome. Well, thanks very much. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm actually... its It always surprises me that people really enjoy the stuff that I make. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just have fun with it, but I'm glad that people like it. Serpentine built B in line 6. Probably surprises Caitlyn people like it also, but, you know, what are you going to do? Serpentine built A... Line 6. And Serpentine built B... Look at that, I can even type tonight. Small miracles. There we go. What do I like now? Um, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Just a poor attempt at humor, Caitlin. Don't worry. Um, uh, alright. Oil filter, inline six. Even with the reminders, he doesn't read Twitch chat. I do read Twitch chat! I do. 
I've actually read it more tonight than I have been lately, so give me some credit. Actually, you guys have been really talkative in Twitch. That's unusual. Don't forget your clips. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I'm totally going to forget that. Unless I do it, like, right away. Those clips. Between the oil and the clips. Those are, like, the two things I just miss constantly. Clips. Uh, where's the clips? That didn't work. Uh, okay. So, after saying I could type tonight. <laughs> now I can't. Clip. There we go. Clip B. Thank you for the reminder, because I definitely would have forgotten that. I'm super smart that way. It's SMRT. Yeah, islands look like it's going to be fun. I'm, I think I'm going to have fun with that. It's uh, It looks really... Uh, they, I think what I like about it is, and what I like about games like that in general, is it's super open-ended. You can do like almost anything. Okay, I think we have we have the engine all done. For the most part. Looks pretty shiny. It's going to look really weird in this old car, but... Mostly because it's, uh, we use like performance parts and stuff on it. Take that, thank you. We'll put this back in the car so it can fly free. <laughs> Looks so weird just flying there. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Let's click. That's what I meant to do. Alright, so that's out of the way. Came late to Kirkman put the oil in the Ferrari. I did! I did put oil in. Somebody reminded me. <laughs> I rely on these reminders. I rely on it. The line core, that's not true. I read Twitch at other times also. Maybe it took a huge... Oh, man, you guys are just... Just razz me now. Yeah, it's a free-floating engine, but it's it sort of fits in with the other parts of this game that sort of fly free. Radiator... Ooh, we fixed it. How about that? Uh, brake servo. I had an extra one of those. We can put that in. Okay, this is weird. So we have uh, the front exhaust section, but there's nothing here telling me I can put the manifold on. I wonder if this mod just doesn't include the manifold because of the angle that the engine has to sit in here. I feel like that's a possibility. Alright, let's go get the battery off the charger. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, hey, Sharpshooter. Uh, I'm not entirely positive, to be honest with you, whether I remember or not. I have a horrible memory. You can see that just by me playing the game. <laughs> Started watching two days ago. Welcome, Air Gaming. Who here plays March of Empires? Um, I don't know if I've even seen that game. I do like cars in real life, but I am not a car... I'm not, I'm not like a car aficionado or anything. I would generally say that my, my my overall knowledge of cars is relatively low. I'm not like a I'm not somebody who like gets super into it. Oh my gosh, neglect. My goodness. You guys are so hard done by over there. Flywheel. It's not just any wheel, it's a flywheel. Hashtag bad joke. All right, I mean, I'm still going to need the, the, uh, the clutch release bearing, because we didn't buy one of those yet. Someone who asked you to download the Holden mod. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, the tipped engine is really messing me up, too. Yes, yeah, so start reminding me of the starter now, because odds are really good I'm going to forget it. <laughs> what do you mean, definitely not? <laughs> Get to the point where I'm going to try to start the car, it won't start, and I'll be like, what's going on, guys? I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, I only tell bad jokes. Thank you, Caitlin. I don't have any good ones. If you came here looking for good comedy, go somewhere else. Go check out Kazi's channel. He's got some good jokes. <laughs> like his gameplay. Boo! Alright. Let's get the suspension put together. Cross member E. Some Disco 70 guy. <laughs> Uh, the engine sideways because this is a mod, and they probably had to adjust the way the engine sits in the engine compartment in order for the mod to work. Uh, cross member. You should work for my shop. It'll pay me 500 an hour. Sold. I'll be there. Don't expect I can do anything reasonable in a real shop. <laughs> I've done a little bit of a little bit of auto work, but nothing that uh, nothing that I should ever brag about. I took like uh, auto shop for one semester in high school. Uh, my dad had a farm, and 
when you have a farm, you pretty much have to know a certain amount of um, mechanics and stuff. Because there's just constantly things that need fixing. So I did a little bit of stuff around around the farm. But for the most part, I can do the things that people tell me, like, do this. But diagnostics and stuff were, like, totally beyond me. So uh, I never really learned that kind of junk. And consequently, I would make a terrible mechanic. Because I feel like diagnostics are mildly important when you're working on a car. <laughs> At least a little bit. Is performance suspension a thing? No, they don't, they don't have any performance suspension. So there's performance engine parts. Uh, there are performance filters and exhaust pieces. Um, performance gearbox. But uh, that's the that's pretty much the extent of most of it. Why else do they keep having me on in Fortnite? Can't pay for my aim. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, nobody has me on Fortnite for my aim either, so don't feel bad. Prince Way. When she remind me of the oil, when we get this thing down off the engine rack, or off the uh, the engine, le uh, ugh, the car left rather. Okay, we need tie rods. Dad's a mechanic, so we only have to pay for parts, so that's handy. Yeah, my dad was a mechanic too. Um, most of his stuff was like bush fix work, though. <laughs> so, like I said, I did a little bit. I used to do like. Oil changes, spark plugs, brakes, uh, tire changes, I, I, you know, all that kind of junk. Simple things. I didn't really do anything really complex. Close vision of this is just sell it as is. Runs great. <laughs> That's right. This thing's pristine. The simple thing to do houses like uh, ideal fixer upper or something. <laughs> uh, friend and like I'm gonna have to buy. <clears throat> funny. You guys are funny. That's why I keep you around, because you're funny. <laughs> well, we get started on islands, but want to see Cryptic wanted to start up me or not. I do want to start with you, man. We definitely want to play some islands. Definitely, definitely. I also got a game that's going to give me no end of headaches. I, I, I picked up uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Uh, and from what I understand, it's it's a kind of a nightmare game. <laughs> What you call a cow that don't stop cryptic? What do you call a cow that won't stop twitching? Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a good bad joke, and I have no idea what the answer is. What do you call a cow that won't stop twitching? I don't know. A milkshake? Is it a milkshake? <laughs> do <you> pimp my ride. <laughs> Customer comes in. What are these extra bolts for? <laughs> Fox says weight reduction. That's right. So I'm just streamlining for them. You know, I want to make sure that they're getting the best performance out of their vehicle. <laughs> Do you think I should get a World War II Willys Jeep as a project car? Oh, that'd be neat. I have no idea how they would handle driving it around, but... Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, <laughs> I bought a couple brake parts. I need some bearings. Uh, I grabbed two of these. Painted canary yellow with neon green ghost flames. <laughs> Beef jerky. Oh, that's good, too. I like, actually, I think I like beef jerky better than uh, better than milkshake. And I just totally put a rusted part in there because that's what I do. <laughs> Call it the bullet. <laughs> uh, let's see. With me driving, we might as well just call it the death sentence. How do you get a clown out of a tree? I have no idea. Own an ADCM Valiant and you're 15. Well, now I'm jealous. Uh, I intend to play Islands with Kazi, actually. Kazi, are you planning to stream that like right after this? Or are, you, are we going to record it? Because I feel like we're going to be totally incompetent to start with. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely Canadian. No question, eh? Take off, eh, you hoser. Uh, was it a knuckle A I needed? I think it was an A. No, it was a C. Huh, <laughs> C. Told you I have a bad memory. No one believes me until I prove it. This car loves his drugs. Stream. Are you talking about streaming, Kazi? I totally missed what you're saying. I can't scroll back because I can't, I can't mouse out of this window. You can see the mouse pointer stops at the edge of the screen. I can't go over to my other monitor. <laughs> Perfect stream material. Oh, epic fail stream material. Oh, I get it. 
I got you. All right, maybe we can make a stream it. I don't think we're gonna come up with a thumbnail and stuff. Tie rods are in. Ooh, we need bottom suspension armor. Missed most of the stream. What are we doing this one? All right, so I started the stream out by finishing off the Ferrari Bertolinetta that we started last time. Um, hold on, before I forget what I'm doing here. Bottom suspension arm. Oh gosh. Was it a B? No. Good thing I didn't buy it. Uh, so we finished the Ferrari Berlinetta that I started the, at the end of the last stream. Uh, it's looking pretty sharp, as you can see it over by the door over there. Uh, we haven't taken it out for a test drive yet, but we'll do that later. I think we'll test drive both cars. Uh, this one I'm going to take out for a spin before we even get the body and everything put together on it. So we ripped out the engine. We totally rebuilt it. We used a few performance parts, even though we're working with, uh, with the 1929. And then we're going to take it out for a spin with no body, no seats, or anything. Just because I think it'll look funny. Then we'll bring it back in. We'll finish out the body, get it all painted up. See how it looks when it's in pristine condition. This one's neat too because it's got some cool, some cool ways like the the the, uh, the hood on the engine opens up and things. No one say starter. Maybe he'll forget. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are just out to get me tonight. For an axle cover. I have to get your tetanus shots because you're working with a lot of rusty parts. Oh, I know. Well, the thing is, like, they show anywhere in this in this game as rust, so just sort of defaults to that. No, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. Front wheel hub. Gosh, my brain is just not working. It's, I'm firing on about two cylinders right now. Uh, I already bought bearings, so that's good. I already bought the discs, so that's good. Also, actually, I have extra bearings. How about that? Wheel hub cap I bought. Brake pads I bought. Calibrate didn't buy, because I'm not that smart. Gotta be careful with the salt intake. Everyone's super salty, yeah. <laughs> They're salty in a friendly way, though. I'm good with that. I can take a joke. It's fine. New hearing you're chirping me. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. I'll just cry myself to sleep later. It's good. I, I, I'm not sensitive. You know what? Good-hearted ribbing. I'm, oh, what happened there? What the? Uh. All right. <laughs> Somehow I ended up in disassemble mode. That was weird. Uh, good-hearted ribbing. I'm good with. It's when people get like actually like nasty and mean. I don't think that's cool, but. I mean, just look at Kazi and I. I mean, I, th I think pretty much the nature of our friendship requires us to be trading insults. Otherwise, it's just not going to be right. Oh, I can't even get... I have to go to the engine bay to put the starter in. That sucks. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This whole side of the engine is completely exposed. There's no body on this aside from a frame, but I've got to go into the quote-unquote engine compartment to put the starter in. Alright. Whatever. It's fine. I can take it. Uh, I'm not going to deal with the front exhaust. Let's go to the back. Leaf spring. We got that fixed. Nice, nice. Nice. We fixed both leaf springs. I'll throw those on. These spring plates. Fix both of those. Those are good. What about you bolts? Got three of three out of four. That's not bad. Da, da, da. This is gonna be a self-driving car. That's right. No room for passengers in this thing. At all. We have four. That's good. Solid rear axle. We got one of them fixed. One wheel cylinder. We're gonna need pads back here. Or shoes. Oh, that's weird. It looks like I fixed one of the shoes. It's so weird. So weird. Oh yeah. If you can't trade if you can't trade insults with your friends, I mean who can you trade insults with? Obviously they're all they're always good natured, you know, we don't want to get too uh too mean or anything. Except for Kazi. You know, he's mean. Makes me cry. Very sensitive. Shock over V. Dark red. I'm gonna make this almost like a burgundy color, I think. If I can. Shock over V. Get two of these. Never tell you that I'm your brother, you just don't know it yet. Oh my gosh, really? I just bought the the wrong shock absorbers, because I'm super smart. <laughs> 
Rear Shock Observer B. That's the ones I meant to buy. Don't look behind the curtain, folks. It's not pretty back there. It needs a category called Sass Masters. Oh my gosh. We'll set that uh, we'll set the Discord channel on auto delete for every message that goes in there. <laughs> Twitch chat for the win. <laughs> you guys are vicious. Okay, I need another leaf bolt. Won't be here much longer. You're moving this month. Wait, where can you move in the world that's away from YouTube? I don't understand how that works. <laughs> Best way to see how good a friendship is, uh, you have see how many insults you can. Yeah, that's it. That's right. I don't even know what I'm grabbing. Rear knuckle housing B. Oops. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Don't forget the bushings. Lots of bushings. Rear knuck. Well, that didn't work. Okay, what's going on here? Was it B? Again, with my brain not working. Uh, there we go. Yeah, woo, good guess. Got lucky. Me, I'm not smart. Sometimes getting like the little bushings and stuff, trying to aim at them from a distance is really kind of a pain. I do read YouTube comments. Actually, a lot of the part, a lot of the reason I play this game on stream is because it's kind of cool to just chill out and chat with people. Uh, I'm not catching everything though, because there's almost a hundred of you, and you guys have been fairly active tonight, which is nice. Uh, but it does result in me missing some of the things I get said. It's all moved to North Korea. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I guess yeah, I guess that would work. Never mind. <laughs> What's my views on Donald Trump? My views are that I choose not to share them. <laughs> Politics, religion, those are things I steer away from commentary on this. I'm really not interested in the drama. Everyone's got their own viewpoint. It's going to be filled with insults next stream. I'll be all that air liquid mod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aw. For your solid. 3.30 p.m. here. Really? Where are you? Like Hawaii? For your solid. That didn't work. Oh, so you know what? It's probably solid rear instead of rear solid. Yeah, solid rear. There we go. Can't find the stream with the Ferrari. Okay, so it's because um, the Ferrari was done in in two parts. So uh, we had a little bit of time left over at the end of uh, the last stream. Um, I think it was the, uh, the Hot Wheels car we did last time. Uh, with the skull in the front. I, my brain's not working now. Uh, anyway, that we uh, we finished that car relatively quickly, and we had time left over at the end. So I was like, all right, well let's let's start working on another car. And I, I'd found the Bertol uh, the Bertolinetta while we were in the junkyard, and I decided to start working on that. So we started it then, and then at the beginning of this stream is when we finished it. So it's kind of split over over two streams, unfortunately, which isn't necessarily ideal, but we had time to kill. So um, and now I completely forgot what I was getting. Oh yeah, cylinder. It's a good. Quick shoe. We're going to need drum on here. All right. Down the wheels there. All right. So what do we have left? Uh, we need uh, double wishbone shock absorbers for the front. Now, the, the suspension on this car isn't, um, isn't exactly right. Uh, the guy who made the mod called that out said that, unfortunately, he was kind of waiting to see whether he could get the proper suspension for it. Uh, however, it was not something that they had in the game, but he, so he finally pushed the mod out. So it's not going to be exactly right, but whatever. I'm no purist anyway. Put white wall tires on it? Yeah, I'm going to try and put the same tires on it that it started with. Doo -doo -doo. Very nice. 07 Kia Rondo EX with four cylinders and third row seating power windows. Are you trying to sell it? That's a lot of detail. <laughs> when I was in high school, I was driving up to Toronto with some friends of mine. Uh, and we were living, at the time, we were maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away from Toronto. We had to go up the highway. 
And a buddy of mine had a Firefly, and the Firefly has a three-cylinder engine in it. It was in the summer times. So it was hot. And we had the air conditioning running. And we couldn't pass cars on the highway unless we turned the air conditioning off because it was too much drag on the engine. <laughs> I was like, man, this car is great. Mind you, I had a friend who had a Chevette, too, so I guess all my friends had crummy cars, which is still better than the bike that I had. <laughs> After the stream installed, the Judge Pontiac GTO and Hot Wheels Twin Mill, they're both good mods. Oh, nice. I'll have to check this out. Uh, after the stream, I think I'm actually going to be joining Kazi for another stream. Because we're just going to go a little crazy today. And we're going to try out islands. Front uh, exhaust section I-6. Come on. Front exhaust section I-6. There we go. Dual stream, yeah. You can see the two different perspectives. That's always fun. I, uh... Kazi, I actually took the snippet where we won the... One duo was last night, and I set that up as a recording that's going to go live tomorrow in for Fortnite. It's kind of fun. Uh, car don't need rear axle. It's just a weight reduction. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> just drag the back end. As long as you know what? It's rear-wheel drive. That won't work. Uh, let's do without the front wheels. Because then uh, you'll save on something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, performance parts. That's what I want. I need a mid muffler, and then I didn't see what kind of mufflers on the back of this thing. You know what? Let's go to exhaust. Middle muffler. Oh, I did have a front exhaust section I6 near. Crap. For some reason, I, I assumed there wasn't. That'll learn me. Kind of like a better middle muffler. I didn't check what, what we need on the back end. Let's get this out of here. Let's get this junk out of here. We need performance parts on this thing. 1929 car with performance parts. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, V8 overhead valve. Okay, good. So I can use performance parts for that, too. Okay, on this fake radio station, this is like the one song that I don't like. <laughs> the rest of them I actually kind of, I kind of don't mind. This is how you're learning about engines. Well, I mean, you can learn a little bit about it. There's obviously a lot of things missing here. I mean, you don't have any of your lines, additional wires. Uh, you're not using any gaskets. So, you know, there's still a lot to a lot to learn. But it is, you know, if you're looking for, like, just knowing broadly where the, the parts of the engine are and stuff, that's kind of actually kind of help for that, probably. Uh, fuel tank. You can put heads on the engine now. I thought I did put engine heads on. <laughs> Fuel pump. Every 1929 vehicle needs a performance fuel pump. That's that's what we gotta do there. Oh, there's the manifold. Now I can put the manifold on. Nice. Okay. And there are performance parts for that too. What? Is it really the manifolds in the all right, listen to the engine parts, even though it's really more like exhaust at that point. I need two of these. <clears throat> Hot shot cross country hauls, hauling campers and vehicles for companies. Oh, that's cool. Torque on the bolts. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of torquing going on here. Oh, I can't do that until I'm in the engine compartment. All right. So, again, the engine is hanging around basically outside the car, but I've got to go in the engine compartment to finish the pieces I need. Go me. Ah, look at all shiny. This engine looks nice in here. It's very nice. Put oil in it. That's probably a good idea while I'm in here. Look at that. See, I can read occasionally at the third grade level. Check out the front wheels will only be good for drag or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Steering is a, a bit of a challenge when we take the wheels off. I don't know why that is. Can't imagine. Can't zoom out. There we go. Plain old starter. See? I remembered the starter. Thank you very much. Mostly because you were bugging me about it. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think we're down to the wheels. If we get the wheels taken care of, then we can take this jalopy out for a spin with no body on it, I think. I was able to take the Dodge Charger out without the body finish, so I'm really hoping that'll be the case again here. Um, I already tried to repair stuff. We need to take the wheels apart here. And we'll see if we can fix the rims. Not install. Retro Rim 13. So when Crimp's on the test track and he's drifting everywhere and spinning out, you have a hard time. Oh yeah, that would be bad. Sorry. This is not really the best game for you. I happen to really like it, but I'm sure it's in no way your favorite. When am I streaming tomorrow? When am I streaming tomorrow? I'm going to play uh, Empires of the Undergrowth. It's this um, uh, colony management game where you're basically controlling... It's, it's a real-time strategy, I guess. Where you're controlling a colony of ants and you have to, like... Uh, there's missions you have to do, like defending the colony or... Uh, like attacking other insects and stuff that are in the area, so it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, it just came out recently. I don't know how many levels there are for it. I think there might be only like a total of four, but... You're reminding me in a sassy way. <laughs> Doesn't that pretty much define bugging when you're continually reminding somebody in a sassy manner? <laughs> Control, kill your... equals kill your queen, yeah. Tried Fortnite, not a fan, but Oni in this game is fun. Yeah, not every game is going to be for everybody, obviously. But. All right, those are all taken apart. Let's see if we can actually fix the rims here. That'd be nice. <laughs> all right, we can fix one of them. And I broke it. Yes! 96% fixed chance, and I broke it. <laughs> this game's awesome. I'm pretty sure that 96% they give you is really not a true 96 uh, let's go buy the parts we need since I clearly can't fix them. Uh, rims. Alright, so these were Rim Retro 13s. 13s, there we go. Get four of these. Oh, I didn't notice the size of them. Drat. No salt there. <laughs> it's a good thing I like salt. Man, I really need to sell my junk. This is bad. So bad. All right, and I don't even see it. All right, where's my rims? Rim retro 13, 20 inches. So this is the you have to actually turn on, uh, turn on like accepting oversized tires in order for this mod to work because these tires are huge. Okay, and then the tires, body, gearbox, exhaust, brakes, suspension, engine. Why can't it? Okay, so it doesn't let me look see the tires, but I can see the rims. Isn't that interesting? So they're white walls. I just gotta look for the white wall, I guess. Where are you? Show me the tires! They're sport tires. I got some of those. Good lord, I got a lot of parts. If I sold all this junk, I would probably go up by a few thousand dollars. There's a lot of junk in here. <laughs> I just don't want to do it right now because it takes too long. Oh, there we go. Uh, vintage tire wall B. Vintage tire wall... B. Uh, these are 130 ADR20s. Alright. Let's buy some parts. Tires are in the... Oh, they're in suspension. Okay, I guess it makes sense. Okay, these need to be 20 inches for them. And then in our tires, vintage Bs. We've got four 20 inches, and they are ADR 20s. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't go down. Well, isn't that just great? Do I need a mod to be able to put the right tires on this thing? ADR 20s. Oh, drat. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, it'll look really weird if I put fat tires on this, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the old worn out tires. So we're not gonna get to 100% on this one, just because. Man, that's big. Okay, um, oh, it's gonna look so weird. All right, whatever. We we'll use the worn out tires, just because otherwise I can't get the skinny enough. That's so weird. Why can't I buy them at 80s? Hendrix Creed. That makes sense from there. Eh, I don't know. 
Okay, let's uh, throw this on for balancing. Do do do. The next one going. I really hate putting the, the old rubber in this, but I, it'll look really weird if I have fat tires on here. Did you miss much? Mostly. We're almost finished the car, actually. Well, the mechanical parts of the car. <laughs> We're gonna take it up for a spin where it has no body, just because I think it'll look funny. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Play the Titanic music because I had to put old tires on. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oops, that's not what I want to do. The unfortunate thing is that with the old tires on here, it's probably not going to handle as well either. Ooh, 11% on that tire. Sweet. Hi, X Clips. Welcome to the stream. You didn't mess the best part. Yeah, we haven't taken this thing out for a spin yet, and we haven't put the body on it yet either. So we uh, we've ripped the engine out. We totally rebuilt it. Uh, we took apart all the suspension and got it right down to the frame. Uh, we spent some money polishing that frame because, you know, $100 to clean nothing but a frame <laughs> See, seemed to make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> so we've done that. Old by drive rotten tires being pushed by performance engine parts. Yeah, it's perfectly safe. It's amazing. On the plus side, in this game, you can't really, like, you can't have a blowout, so it doesn't really matter. I, I mean, I'm sure it'll hurt the, the traction or whatever, but... Just subscribe, love their builds, keep on the work. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate that. I'm glad you, uh, glad you enjoy them, and thanks for subscribing. Oh, but you're a mechanic and fix cars. I don't know about that. <laughs> if you've been watching me play the game, you don't want me working in your shop. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, those tires are so ugly. Oh, I just messed up my pattern. Um... I might end up putting fatter tires on this, just because these these worn out ones are looking gross. What I should do is put uh, put big fat slicks on the back of it. <laughs> it looks so wrong. Ah, uh, missed the pattern again. Using the mouse to get the right shape on this is weird. Okay. There we go. Looks weird whether to driver or a body. Yes, it does. Okay. The only thing left on this is the body now. So the body and the interior. I know it looks really messed up, but I think we can actually take it out for a spin. Can I get in this? I don't think I can get in it. I might have to put seats in it. I'm not sure. I th I'm pretty sure I drove the... Uh... Let's try it. I think I drove the Dodge without, without any seats in it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go to... No, the abandoned airport, I guess. Yeah, I can drive it. <laughs> I forget everything. That's right. That's exactly what I do. Uh, yeah, if you're buffering on YouTube, I apologize for that. I'm pushing it at a pretty high rate at uh, 1080p 60, so you might have to lower the graphics settings if, you're got, if your internet's not keeping up. Or it might be a lag spike on YouTube. I don't know. Put only a steering wheel. You don't even need that. There's nowhere to put the steering wheel. See, that's the trouble. It just would fly in mid midair. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That, right there, is a performance machine. Pure weight reduction. We're not doing any burnouts with this car. There's not even any drive axle in the front, so the, the front wheels are like... <laughs> this is the way everyone should drive. It's a perfect self-driving car. It's got super low clearance. So you never have to worry about uh, bumping into anything. <laughs> Engine on wheels. Look at that. The front wheels aren't even connected to anything. They're just sort of they're sort of free flying. You don't have any drive axle or anything up there. <laughs> nice. 1080p 60. I wish you went Twitch. Nice. Ghost Rider. That's right. Try flipping it. Oh yeah. Can we? Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I need to find uh, I need to find something that has a bit of a slope to it. This is the Google self-driving car. Uh, no passengers allowed, but it'll drive itself. <laughs> it's, it's a little spooky, I admit. Get the speed up, but not going too crazy. Actually, this thing handles pretty well, considering I have nasty old tires on it. Ah, smoked. <laughs> didn't make that corner. All right, let's go put the rest of the body on this thing so this thing looks proper. 
It's funny that it'll let you drive it like this when there's like nothing to it, but... Makes me laugh. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the garage. We'll finish off the body. Uh, and then after we get the body done on this, I actually want to take the uh, the Ferrari out for a spin, too. I wish there was something I could have hit there that had like a low slope on it, so I could have actually flipped it over. <laughs> yeah, there's no body work to destroy on it. I wish... Uh, sometimes I wish that when you're racing the car, you could damage it, so you could like boot around and damage it up and then take it back to your shop and fix it again. <clears throat> that was the original Ghost Rider vehicle before they decided that a you know, motorcycle looked so much cooler. Okay. Where's my car? There it is. Okay. Body-wise... I don't know that I had... I, I pretty much need everything, I think. Uh, I had one... One hood, I think. Yeah, one side of the hood is on there. Headlights? Did I fix those? Oh, we did. So there's only gonna be like a few parts that were on here, because the body was like right down to nothing. Front bumper. What else do we have? No, not the license plate. Come on. It's gonna make me put license plates on it. Front end. We did it the front end. Okay, so we got the grill. That's good. And that gave me... Actually, some parts all the way to the back. That's weird. Uh, rear bumper? Did we have that? No, we didn't. Okay, I think that was all the parts that I had on this thing. It was, it was pretty stripped down. So we're going to need to actually go into the body shop and buy some. Hi, it's a mad penguin. Don't be mad. You're a penguin. Have a good night, Ron Simpson. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Yeah, that car really would burn your butt. You'd be dragging on the ground. Um, let's see, Model L. Okay, well that, that didn't work so good. It actually, did it default to the parts I needed? Oh, it did. Oh, only because of the order. Okay, so it was a 1929 Lincoln front bumper. So, that's funny. It's, uh... I didn't even have to look for it. It's just right there. Uh, let's see. Windshield. We had one side of the hood. We're going to need the other side. Left body window. Headlights I had. They're fine. Side mirror. Left taillight. Rear bumper. Door. Window. Fender. Man, there's actually a lot of parts for this. Headlight I had. Don't need that. Trunk. Uh, and that is it, I think. Yeah, the chat slowed down a little bit. It was going a lot quicker earlier. <laughs> well, quicker quicker relatively, I guess. You know, it's obviously... It's maybe a function of the size of the channel. It's not like trying to catch a Markiplier stream or something. Oh, that's funny. The trunk is that... Oh, weird. Okay. So, because this is modded, uh, oftentimes the, the body parts are a little funky. In terms of, like, how they're named. Front window. Nice. Oh, that's looking good. That's sharp. Rear bumper, left taillight, right taillight. Uh, let's see. Rear window. Oh, that's the rear window, huh? <laughs> All right. Got some glass in here. No, come on. No? No glass? I guess there's only glass in the front half? That's weird. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, almost finished. It's a pretty cool looking car when it's finished. I mean, even just looking at it in the showroom looks it looks pretty sweet. The unfortunate thing is when it's in the showroom, you can't like get out and walk around it. You can just kind of like spin the camera and stuff, but... I kind of wish you could drive things that are in the showroom. Okay. It's a little two-tone right now, but I think we have all the body parts on it. It's looking good. It's going to be a little bit off because the tires that I'm using are terrible. 
but I think we have just about everything else taken care of except for the interior, of which there is none yet. We got none of it. Markiplier's a precious bean. Oh my goodness. No comment. It would look cooler if you could put like bullet holes in the door and stuff. Actually, it'd be cool if there was like a like a lever you could put on it that would do that for you. Sort of give you the look. That's right, I got none of it. None of it. But look, when you open the hood, it does like the whole levering up thing too, which is neat. Cool, huh? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I like this car, it's really cool. Uh, okay, so we need to do the interior. Uh, what are we missing? We need a bench seat in the back, two front seats, and a steering wheel. North Dakota plates? Is that what you want? Okay, so in terms of seating... Ooh, wow. That's really slow loading. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, it's really dragging all of a sudden. Body spot. Only oh, need interiors, not body. Uh... Focus of the real star, Kazi. Ray! I'm insulted. I say good day. Uh, alright. Let's look at seats. What is going to look even remotely reasonable in a car like this? Seat Bandit, Reptilia, Rollet. <laughs> the seat willies. We put the Jeep willies in there. <laughs> TBX. All right, I guess I'll just go with like the really standard looking seat. I guess I don't really know what else to put in here. So put two of these in. We need a bench seat for the back. What's Kazi's channel? Uh, if you go to YouTube.com/casualkazi, then uh, you can find that there. Or yeah, they put the Twitch one there too. Okay, so I wonder if there's a particular bench that I have to use in the back of this, or if any bench will do. Is there one that's just called Bench? <laughs> I don't think there is. Bench Hellcat, Jeep Willys. Bench M3, Bench M6. Bench Moon. Gosh, I don't know if it'll just take any bench and let me put it in the back of here or not. I really don't know. Let's try this one. Bench Moon Leather one. I, 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 don't, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, install. We'll put it in our seats. There are no items to work with. Okay. Clearly, I can't use just any bench. Uh... Okay, that's gonna stink. <laughs> I'm not sure what bench to use. I don't. I don't even have like an original one to work from. And since there's nothing in here that's gonna be named after this car, oh, maybe there is. Hold on. Let's try a. Uh... Nope. Nope. Bueller. Bench. 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 Bandit. Bench. I don't know what bench to use. Bench cape rear won't work. Well, that just stinks. Um, I don't want to really want to spend like an hour in here trying to poke around at all these different benches and figure out which one works. Um, if I can find one that even looks reasonably similar. Bench lots is fairly similar. I don't know. If this doesn't work, then I think I'm just going to leave the back bench for now. I'll have to figure that out after the fact. Because I just don't want to spend forever on the stream trying to figure out which bench is supposed to go in here. Oh, look at that. Good guess. All right, that worked. Uh, now we need a steering wheel. Steering wheel. Mm, salty, caramelly love. Steering. I'm going to go with like, a nice classic look. Steering wheel 3, maybe. I think I've used it a lot lately. What time is it for me? It is just before midnight, I think. Oh, it's just after midnight. Oh, man, we got to wrap up. Uh, I want to get this car finished, though. Um, no. Yes. 
Steering wheel three. Nice. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay. She's pretty much all finished. I mean, aside from the crummy tires I left on it, uh, everything else should be in pristine shape. Oh, I need license plates. I think somebody wanted Dakota plates, right? Plates. Dakota. North Dakota, South Dakota. Let's use uh, North Dakota. Why not? This could be called Old Car. $1,800 for plates. Good lord. There we go. Old car. Uh, is there only one plate on this thing? I guess. This is rear license plate, but I don't see where that would go. Oops. Come on. Am I missing something, or is there no rear plate? Oh, there it is. Whew. Spotted it. All right. The whole thing's back together again, aside for the crummy tires that I left on it and the really weird plates that <laughs> they sort of stand out of touch. Everything else is in good shape. 94388 bucks for this car. Let's send it off to the paint shop. Uh, normal load and move it to the paint shop. Not moving South Dakota plates are expensive. <laughs> they robbed me. I know, right? It's crazy. Car should be black since they were only offered in black, were they? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like... So I was toying around with this a little bit when I was doing the thumbnail. Uh, and I actually like... There was... Uh, if you had like a... Where is it here? What am I looking for? Saturation. If I go in here and get like... This like deep burgundy color that I think looks pretty cool. I don't think there's any livery for this. No, there's not. So it's almost black, but it's got a, like a hint of red to it. This will look better when we get actually get it out by the door. Paint it green. Oh my goodness. Leave the plates off. Yeah, the plates do look a little ridiculous, don't they? Uh. I don't need it. Just, there we go. It looks a little ridiculous. I mean, that it the rear plate's okay, but otherwise it looks weird. Look at that. That looks sharp. I'd drive that. Not very far, mind you. It's probably a rough ride. We're a pretty sharp looking car. It's nice. Paint was puffed on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says weirdest paint job ever. Nevertheless, I mean that looks that looks pretty good. Now we didn't take the the uh, the Ferrari out for a spin. I want to take that for a quick spin around the track. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll take this one actually to the racetrack. Quick spin with a Ferrari, and then we'll uh, call it quits for tonight. But that was fun. We had kind of just enough in there to uh, just enough time there today to finish off the Ferrari and then get all the way through the uh, the 1929 Model L. That's a nice looking car, actually. I'd, I'd, I'd drive that. Let's see if we can keep it on the track, though. That's the big if. <laughs> oh, that's drifting already. Oh, no, no, no. In the grass. It looks so much better in the shop than it does. Yeah, it's weird. The lighting is so strange. Like in the in the paint shop, they've got like that really intense white light that gives everything kind of this really weird glow to it, and then it just looks strange. <laughs> Don't ever get in a car with me, apparently. At least not on a racetrack. Terrible driving. Oh, not good enough. Too much slide. Yeah, so million dollar car, we'll just drift this around the track and try and smack it into some walls, because I mean, everybody's got a billion dollars to waste, right? No trouble at all. <laughs> uh, can we make it through? Come on, come on. Oh, too much slide again. Uh. All right, so this, both cars I think turned out really sharp. This one's neat. It actually handles not too bad compared to some of the other ones I've driven. Like the the Charger has so much power when you step on the gas, it just it goes like crazy. It's really hard to handle. 
spins out a lot. I, I suppose I could put different tires on it. It might get a little bit better traction. And probably the same thing here, too. But so far, so far pretty good. But uh, thanks, everyone, for coming to check out the stream. Uh, I do hope you enjoy these. I am going to be streaming again tomorrow night, if, uh, if you're interested. I'm going to be playing some Empires of the Undergrowth about 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I think after this stream, uh, I'm going to quickly do another reset. And I might play a little bit of a new game called Islands with Kazi that just came out today. Um, so if you're interested in that, that you can come, come back and take a look. And then on Friday, I'm going to be playing some Fortnite again at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, but thanks, everyone, for coming to check out the stream. I appreciate everyone being so uh, so interactive and active in the chat. I do, I do enjoy chatting with all of you. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.